achievement check. What's required? What's recommended? Ditch truck level. I use ramps because my driveway is sloped and it gives me more working room. First thing you should always do is make sure you can remove the fill plug and use that 24 millimeter socket. It's not hard to get to, it's just kind of hidden up here. Okay, we'll inspect it later, but set it off to the side. The overflow, or sometimes called check plug, let's clean it out. It's a hex. Take that five millimeter hex and tap it in there. Make sure it's all the way in. And we just wanna make sure we can remove it. Good, now snug it back up. Using that 14 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove that drain plug and let it drain into our bucket. I got pretty much exactly three quarts from this drain. Let's inspect the rubber gasket on the fill plug and put new crush washers on the overflow and drain plug. Go ahead and reinstall the overflow and drain plug. We're just going to snug them up and come back and torque them later. This is optional, but I like taking a little sample of the old fluid to compare now versus what it looks like in about 30 minutes. Take the fill end of the hose, it's usually the longer part, and get about 4 inches up into that fill port, otherwise it can slip out pretty easy. I'm going to put half a quart more into the transmission than what I was able to drain out. So I drained three, I'm putting three and a half in. The reason is we want to overfill it to get it well above that check plug or that overflow plug. This is all part of the process. Using a small box like the one that this fluid came in keeps the bottle from falling over when you're pumping. Don't waste anything. Whatever your bottle pump doesn't get, just pour into the next one. And let's get that last half cord in there. Remove that hose and reinstall that fill plug and just snug it up. We'll torque it later. Okay, start the engine and let's go ahead and cycle through all the gear positions real slow. Do this a couple times, make sure the transmission kicks into each spot each time. You're going to feel it. Parking brake, of course, should be on and foot should be on the brake. This isn't entering into temp check mode, it's just mixing the fluid. Time to get nerdy. You'll find the port right here. You're going to put the truck in temp check mode by putting one into the wire in port 4 and the other into the wire into port 13. Engine can be running, it's no problem. Your dash will start celebrating Christmas, but don't worry, it's normal. Okay, with foot on the brake, move down to neutral, drive, neutral, drive, until the indicator for what gear you're in disappears. Congrats, you're now in temp check mode. You can pull the wire, you don't need it anymore. Once that gear indicator pops back up, it means that the transmission fluid is ready to be checked. With the engine running, take out the overflow plug and let it drain into your bucket until it's a small trickle. All right, reinstall the overflow plug and let's torque everything to spec. 29 foot-pounds on the fill. 15 on the overflow plug. And 15 foot-pounds on the drain plug. 
don't be alarmed if your old fluid kind of changes to a purple color before your eyes. It just oxidizes the humidity, the outdoor temp. It's an assortment of things the internet likes to say. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you next time on Team Oil Drop.